Okay, well, welcome back to this last unit of this module. I'm thinking in terms of special CNC programming tools. This unit contains a collection of techniques, RPM limit codes, milling constant feed rate, access scaling to make shrunken or expanded version of the intended work, and mirroring to create molds from part geometry. So, um, each is a very useful command if correctly applied. And so we're getting into some more elaborate type of coding um, methodology. Mirroring and scaling would be used mostly by mold making, but there are other applications. So for example, after machining several parts, you've determined that they heat up by 150 degrees. So when they cool to room temperature, they are dangerously close to undersize. Among the possible solution, one could edit the program to scale the geometry bigger by the percent of shrinking after the machining. When the, they cool, they will be exactly the right size. So thus we're seeing an example of science in action and you have to be thinking about how it's gonna be used in, um, in its re real scenario. What are some other possible solutions? And so you might be thinking about that um, in various ways. So to conclude here, CAM programming has moved some of the techniques of chapter 22 to the back burner, but not all. And so um, this is where you have automated tools that helps us to be doing some of the programming. We still have to be thinking about the control logic and we got into some of that here. However, there are the, the, the trade tricks that make one a master when you can take them out and am amaze your friends. So with that, we're gonna be finishing up here. We've had two chapters that talked about the way that we do CNC programming. And hopefully with this, going through the textbook and some of the project work, you'll get a better sense of having some idea of how this works and a little bit of hands-on experience. Thank you.